Good evening, all. This is Father Dan, and we are going to pray together the Way of the Cross, a traditional Friday devotional in Lent, where we will mark in a pilgrimage uh, the journey of Jesus on his last day. I invite you to join in uh, wherever uh, you find yourself entering this live stream and uh, join in all of the prayers with me that will be printed on this screen. By thine agony and bloody sweat, by thy cross and passion, by thy precious death and burial, good Lord, deliver us. And by his cross are we saved. Let us then meditate on his way of suffering and sacrifice, which is the way of love, and by which comes our salvation. It is by walking this way with him that we may come to share in the glorious victory of his resurrection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Christ, for our sakes, became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. By his own blood he entered once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. O Savior of the world, who by thy cross and passion hast redeemed us, save us and help us, we humbly beseech thee, O Lord. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, who for the redemption of the world didst walk the way of the cross and bore in thy sinless self the sins of the many, grant that we, following in thy footsteps, may obtain increase of thy love and walk all the days of our life in thy path, who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Now let our hearts be filled with wonder as the holy way we trace which our Savior trod before us who is first of all our race that in gaining our salvation he might blot out our disgrace. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord of justice standing before the judgment seat. Pilate washes his hands. The rulers of Judea take his blood upon their heads and on their children. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. He spared not his own son, but delivered him up for all of us. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, condemned to death for our sins, grant us true repentance, that being washed in that stream which flows from Calvary through the sacraments of thy holy church to the end of time, we may evermore serve thee with pure hearts and minds, who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. See how Pilate makes ablution as the crowd shouts crucify who in cowardly surrender owning Caesar Christ deny thus condemning him their maker on a shameful cross to die. The second station, Jesus receives the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord in whom all things subsist, who led his people out of Egypt and into the land of milk and honey, now led off to death, carrying the instrument of his condemnation. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. For the wickedness of my people he hath stricken him. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, who has taught us to pray, thy will be done, and who hast said, except ye take your cross and follow me, ye have no part in me. Grant us by thy grace cheerfully so to bear the slights and discouragements, the frustrations and temptations of the daily round with patience and humility that we may be made one with thee who bore thy cross for us, 
and who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. See him shoulder now that burden, bending neath the cursed tree. Awesome lesson now providing, how at one with him to be. We must take our cross and follow in the self-same path as he. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord by whom all things were made. He falls in the dust, his agony and bloody sweat, the rigors of his final trial, the mocking and the scourging now take their toll. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy upon us. Surely he hath borne our sorrows, borne our griefs, and carried our sorrows. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, accept our humble thanks for that thou didst bear the full weight and pay the price of sin, that we might have its full weight lifted from our souls, who would be weighed down indeed and lost forever but for thee in thine abiding grace who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. He who lifts our fallen nature, lo, now falls amidst the din, bearing more than cross his burden, grievous load of all our sin, deeper, far more sharply cutting, is the weight he bears within. The fourth station, Jesus meets his holy mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, together with her son. The ancient Simeon's word to her is now fulfilled. A sword shall pierce thine own soul also. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Yea, a sword shall pierce thine own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts shall be revealed. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, at whose presentation in the temple the aged Simeon prophesied the piercing of the compassionate heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, grant that we may be aided by her deep devotion and lifted by her prayers before thee who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. See we now his holy mother, gazing on her son once fair, who with sweat and blood all matted, thorny crown doth patient wear. See fulfilled the earthly warning, as her soul is pierced there. The fifth station, the cross is laid on St. Simon of Cyrene. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord who holds the whole world in the hollow of his hand, now upheld by Simon, who was standing in the crowd and whom soldiers pressed to service, who from his sharing in the passion of our Lord became a saint of the Holy Church. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy upon us. Whoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, who has taught us to take up our cross and follow thee, Grant us to grow through every burden of the daily round that we may share our cross with thee who shared thy cross with the blessed Simon and who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. See how Simon pressed to service by the Roman soldiery bears his cross and finds his master so by grace of God may we, bearing all our load with patience, find it even as did he. The sixth station, St. Veronica, wipes the face of Jesus. 
We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord of beauty, Saint Veronica, who loves him much, runs to cleanse his face, to whom the church has given as a name her deed itself, Veron Ica, very image of the Lord, which legend says he left upon her cleansing cloth. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy upon us. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, who has taught us that inasmuch as we have been merciful unto one of the least of thy brethren, we have been so unto thee. Grant us grace to be sensitive to the need of friend and foe alike, that as the blessed Veronica found thine image on the cloth which mercy gave, so may we bear imprinted upon our hearts the image of thy love, who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. See we how the thoughtful maiden, who his holy face did leave, finds his image from it firm imprinted on the cloth which mercy gave. So do acts of kindness ever, Jesus' likeness deep engrave. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord of heaven fallen to the earth again, its burdens on his shoulders. The cross becomes the outward sign of all our sins and sin's intolerable weight. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. But I am a worm and no man, the reproach of men and despised of the people. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, who didst walk the lonely road of life to death itself, that man might never need to be alone again, help all who stumble in blindness of heart, searchings of mind, and loneliness of soul, that they may come to know thee who art the light of the world and who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. How we to the Father offer all who suffer grievous pain as we contemplate how Jesus sorely laden falls again while his bruised and bleeding body purples earth with sacred stain. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord whom prophets long foretold, there follows him a great company of disciples, of women, which also bewail and lament him to whom he prophesies. Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. If they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy upon us. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, who has taught us to lay up for ourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break not through nor steal, grant that as we walk through the midst of this crumbling world, our hearts may be stayed on thee, who art the goal of all our striving and the answer to our restlessness, who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Lo, the women loudly wailing, hear Messiah prophesy. Woeful tidings unto Salem, who sent forth her king to die. King eternal, may he show us where our joy and true peace lie. The Ninth Station Jesus falls the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord, who when he had been lifted up will draw all men unto him, now falls a third and painful time. 
Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy upon us. He is brought as a sheep to the slaughter and was mute as a lamb before the shearer. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, by the merits of this thy holy cross, strengthen me, that I may never fall into grievous willful sin, and should I, through carelessness or ignorance, offend thee, grant that I may quickly turn to thee with contrite heart, honest confession, and full purpose of amendment, to conquer all that ought not be in me. Through thy grace, who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. May the third, the full, most painful, on the stony path and steep, that our sins may be forgiven, stir in us contrition deep, fill us with a firm desire, his most holy will to keep. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord who clothed the world in beauty, who now submits for love of man to all man's hatred. He is stripped of his clothing and prepared for the cross. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal, have mercy upon us. They gave me also gall for my meat, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, now prepared for the gallows tree, help us to strip off all false pride and to be clothed with sincerity of heart. Let love rule our hearts and fill them so that no room remains for anger. Let us rejoice in the success of others and pray for them in their shortcomings that we have no room for the cloak of envy. For lust, give us singleness of purpose, that all our desires lived in the pure crucible of this thy holy sacrifice. Grant us for greed a love of holy poverty, for sloth a holy industry, for gluttony a wholesome discipline, that resisting all temptation of the world, the flesh and the devil, we may live in faith, through hope with love by thee, who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. May the stripping of his garments as the cheering crowd stands by, and the robe so seamless woven goes to casting off the of the dye. Strip off from us all pretensions, all our boasting nullify. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord of love. The soldiers nail him to the cross, he praying to the Father for them, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. They pierced my hands and my feet. I may tell all my bones. They stand and stare upon me. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, stretching out thine arms to the nails and praying for the nailers, may the light of thy holy gospel and the healing of thy sacramental grace reach out yet more and more till all mankind shall nail its sins to the cross for love of thee, who now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. See we how he prays forgiveness. While the multitude doth rail, as with brutal blows and heavy hammer strokes are plied on nail, may we all our sin and rancor on that standard now impale. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the Lord of life and glory, saying, It is finished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. The saving victim is become the mighty victor. Sin, Satan, and death are defeated. 
There is darkness over the earth. The rocks are rent. The graves open. The veil of the temple is torn in twain. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Christ became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, whose sacred side was pierced, that blood and water flowing out therefrom might reveal thy death, was by a broken heart. Accept the lowly offering of my heart's love, and grant that dying unto self I may live only unto thee, who died for me and now livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Love and thanks and praise address we as with gaze contemplative. See we now where Christ our Savior hung and died that we might live. And with lowly adoration all our heart's best offering give. The thirteenth station, the body of Jesus, is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, receiving into her hands the body of her Son, our Lord, his life work finished, his soul released, his victory won amidst defeat. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy upon us. Her tears are on her cheeks, she hath none to comfort her. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, by the merits of thy precious death and burial, grant that all who mourn for loss of loved ones may know the help of her prayers whose arms received thy sacred body. May the sure and certain hope of the resurrection be unto them a strong staff with which to walk the paths ahead, guided by thy light, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Lo, her own soul sorely riven, with compassion's piercing sword. Mary now receives the body of God's Son, only Son, our Lord. Jesus, whom the world rejected, evermore by hosts adored. The fourteenth station, the body of Jesus, is laid in the tomb. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold the body of our Lord laid in Joseph's tomb, the penalty of Adam paid, the seed which, except it be sown, abides alone, now awaiting resurrection and a harvest of the souls of men for ages yet untold. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, nor wilt thou suffer thy Holy One to see corruption. Let us pray. O blessed Lord Jesus, who whilst thy sacred body was at rest on the Sabbath, didst in nether realms establish thy reign and preach to the souls departed, grant that naught on either side of the grave may ever separate us from thy love, who having harrowed hell and brought captivity captive, now livest and reignest ever one God, world without end. Amen. See we now our Savior's body, born in sadness through the gloom. Blessed body sprung from Mary, hallows now the rock-hewn tomb. Through the Sabbath till arising, he his glory shall assume. Glory be to God the Father, glory to his only Son, lowly victim, mighty victor, reigning now his conflict done. Glory to the Holy Spirit, who from both with both is one. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O blessed Lord Jesus, thou living stone, rejected of the builders and become the chief stone of the corner, grant that building upon thy sure foundation we may share thy in everlasting habitations, who now livest and reignest with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be Jesus Christ in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, Lord and Giver of life. Blessed be the Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Come, Holy Ghost, our souls inspire and lighten with celestial fire. Thou the anointing spirit art, who dost thy sevenfold gifts impart. Thy blessed unction from above is comfort, life, and fire of love. Enable with perpetual light the dullness of our blinded sight. Anoint and cheer our soiled face with the abundance of thy grace. Keep far our foes, give peace at home. Where thou art guide, no ill can come. Teach us to know the Father, Son, and thee of both to be but one that through the ages all along this may be our endless song. Praise to thy eternal merit, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me, that with thy saints I may praise thee for ever and ever. Amen. Now unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining me on this way of the cross. I look forward to celebrating it with you again soon. Peace be with you.